Hey, thanks for coming back for this next episode in uh, Fixer Upper. Uh, we're doing a series on how to fix up the way we think so that we can experience the joy and the happiness that God really wants us to have. And we're learning from the Apostle Paul who wrote uh, the Philippians, a letter. He was writing uh, after being beaten and thrown in prison and he's awaiting possible execution, yet... He talks 19 times in this book about being joyful. He uses the Greek word Cairo. Uh, how does he be joyful in prison and maybe facing execution? Uh, it's in another word. He uses 16 times in the book the word to think. He says we, if we want to be happy, we have to learn to think right. So the book is organized around five wrong ways to think and uh, five right ways to think. So one wrong way to think uh, is... Uh, think circumstances determine our happiness. If things aren't going well, we think we have to be unhappy. So the right way to think is to be God-centered in our thinking. Think, what does, what's God doing in the midst of whatever circumstance I'm facing? Another wrong way to think is to think people cause our problems. We have you know, terrible people in our lives, so they make me mad, they make me angry, and we're so frustrated, we're unhappy. And Paul says, no, the right way to think is to think of people as more important than yourself. And that transforms the way you think about people. Then people don't have to take away your joy. Now today we come to a third wrong way of thinking, thinking negatively. So I want you to talk in your group. Just turn to somebody next to you or your whole group. Talk together for a few minutes. What things or what's something that causes you to think negatively? All right, so Apostle Paul says, "Do uh, this is uh, Philippians 2, 14 to 16. Do everything without grumbling or arguing. He says, don't think negatively. When thing, bad things happen, don't go dark. Don't go to cynical. Do everything without grumbling or arguing. Anybody can do that, to whine. So that you may become blameless and pure, children of God without fault, in a warped and crooked generation. Then you will shine among them like stars in the sky. When you think positively, uh, anybody can think negatively. When you think positively, you're different than other people, and you shine like stars in the sky, Paul says, as you hold firmly to the word of life. And then I'll be able to boast on the day of Christ that I did not run or labor uh, in vain. So the right way to think, Paul says, is to think positively. Learn to praise God in any situation you face. Uh, so have your study, go through the journal, talk together, pray for each other, uh, and then come along Sunday and I'll talk about how we can think positively. Thanks.